bless you for my show. I've been blessed to have learned a lot in my career as an IT consultant and as a former international student. My life has truly changed and I've made it my mission to give back and serve others beyond myself. Whether that be helping you to relocate to USA as an international student, train as an IT consultant, start and build your own online business, creating your financial freedom, motivating you to pursue your goals and dreams, to being more productive, to inspiring you to constantly improve yourself. In my show, I openly and passionately share all of the very best concepts, strategies, tools and resources that I continue to discover that have made a measurable difference in my life and will do for you as well. Welcome aboard. In this episode of Success with Bob Mwit Show, I'm going to talk about the high income IT skills that do not require any coding. I'm going to give you three of them for now and I'll give you some more later on in my other episodes of Success with Bob Mwit Show. Okay, three high income skills in the IT sector that do not require coding. Okay, all right. Now, I've shared with you my story before. I came to the US as an MBA student. I had a BCom degree from Kenya, okay, and I majored in professional accountants for my MBA and for my undergraduate, I had accounting and finance, okay? So I didn't have any tech background at all, at all, at all, okay? Now, after I graduated from college, I could not find a job. I was struggling. I had to extend my school by one semester, trying to look for jobs. I remember even applying for teller jobs. You know, I couldn't even get it. You know, a lot of disappointments on the way. Okay, but then I realized a lot of my Asian friends that I was in school with were graduating and they were getting good jobs in the tech industry. Even those that I was in the same class with in the MBA class. Okay, and that's how I started being curious of what they were doing. I was like, you know what, if them they can get jobs, why am I struggling? Okay, why am I struggling if someone else is getting a job? So I listened, I talked to them, and they told me what I needed to do. Okay, and I got trained as an Oracle Systems Analyst. Okay, basically I was trained to be that person who configures and sets up the Oracle system from the front end without necessarily doing any programming work. Okay, an amazing job, it pays amazingly well, okay, and it doesn't require me to know any coding at all, at all, at all. In fact, I cannot write even one single line of code up to today. Okay, I can't write even one single line of code up to today. I see a lot of people out there, there's that misconception about IT, that IT is for people who know how to code. Okay, so a lot of our people, they get scared of IT, and that's why a lot of our people, we don't embrace IT that much, and yet it pays so well. Okay, it pays so well. I see a lot of people here in America, a lot of Africans, they are more into the healthcare industry. Okay. Getting a nursing degree, it's very, very hard. It's so hard, you know, but I don't think it would, it, it's very, very hard for you to get a high income skills. Like, for example, what I did. Okay, but I see a lot of people getting into nursing here in the US, especially our African brothers and sisters. Okay, because everybody tells them, hey, you know what? In healthcare, that's where you can make money. Okay, you can make money, but I'm going to tell you the truth. There is more money in the tech industry, okay? And you don't have to do a lot of, you know, like you don't have to do double shifts and all that, okay? Nursing is good, not, you know, no question about that, okay? It's a very good career, but also it's a calling, okay? Not a lot of people out there can do it, okay? I've seen a lot of people coming to, you know, to me and saying, hey, Bob, I want to get away from the healthcare industry. I want to get into the tech industry because I don't like it there. Okay, so if you're one of those people, then get into the tech industry, get trained on high income skills. Okay, you don't have to know how to code. Like I've told you, I didn't know, I don't know how to code up to today. I've been in this industry for almost 10 years. Okay, now, three, three skills, three jobs that don't require any coding at all, at all, at all. I'll give you more examples of these kind of skills 
that don't require any coding in my other episodes of success with bob Witt show okay now the first uh skill or the kind of job that doesn't require any coding is quality assurance analyst okay if you become a quality assurance analyst you don't really need to know how to code okay now let me explain what that is now companies when they do implementations when they have project let's say for example software development okay or maybe they they're implementing some system out there okay normally they'll have you know a team okay and they're gonna have different people with different qualities who come and compose that team for the implementation okay one of those people that must come on board is someone who really understands how to fix defects Okay, how to find and fix defects within the system, okay, and how to do testing on the system, okay, and that person is called the quality assurance. They make sure that the system works perfectly fine as expected, all right, okay, so that person, you don't really have to know how to code at all, okay, but you need to be trained, okay, on how to be a quality assurance analyst or tester, okay, we call them QA testers. Okay, that job, I'm telling you, it doesn't require any coding at all, at all, at all. In fact, actually, I always say this. If you really want to get into consulting world and find like the most, the most, the easiest job to do as a consultant and you are getting paid some good money, it's being a QA tester. It's being a QA tester. All you are looking at is the system, the already system has been developed. What you are trying to find is, you know, any defects, if the system is working perfectly fine, come up with test cases, test scenarios, you know, you know, have them tested and all that and make sure everything is good. Okay, the, the, the heavy lifting has already been done, okay, by mostly business analysts, you know, systems analysts, developers and all that. Okay, and now your work is to check and see whether the system is working perfectly fine. Okay, QA tester or analyst. Okay, quality assurance analyst or tester. Okay, that's one skill. All right, another skill, systems functional analyst. Okay, and this is what I was trained on. I'm a systems analyst. Okay, from the functional side of things. All right, where you implement the system from the front end without necessarily doing any programming work. Okay, now for this kind of skill, you have to be trained on specific system or software. For example, you can be trained on SAP system. Okay, SAP is an ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning Tool. Okay, a system that companies use to record their day-to-day -day transactions. For example, entering expenses, revenue, and running financial reports. Okay, same thing with Oracle. I was trained on Oracle EBS system. Okay, EBS financials. All right, so you, 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 you become that person who sets up and configures specific system from the front end without necessarily doing any programming work because what really happens is in a project when a client let's say for example a client buys a system like oracle they can't really they can't really just start using that system immediately because it's a very complex system they need someone to come on board and configure that system okay and they need two sets of people they need a developer okay and they need a functional analyst Okay, a developer is basically someone who understands the language, the programming language for that system. Okay, so for example, if it's Oracle, they will need someone who understands SQL because Oracle was written in that language. Okay, now they will need those two sets of people. So the functional person, you're going to be out there with the client and implementing the system. Okay, configuring that system for them to start now using it on a day-to-day -day basis from the front end. No need for any programming work. Okay, so that skill is called systems analyst from the functional perspective. Okay, you can call it systems functional analyst. Okay, or just systems analyst. That's what I am. I'm a systems analyst. That was, that's what I was trained on. Okay. A very good skill. I'm telling you, you don't have to have any tech background at all. Okay? But of course, when you get into the industry, if you want to learn, for example, if I really wanted to learn programming, I would have learned it. 
Okay, I would have been so good by now, but it's because I really did, that's not my thing. I don't like programming at all. Okay, I don't like it at all, at all, at all, at all. Me, I hated programming from the day that I scored a C in my college. Uh, for, you know, like the basic programming classes and I graduate. From that day, I was like, no, this, is, this thing is not for me. Okay, I could not, like, generally I couldn't understand what I was doing in that class. But anyways, I still scored a C and I was like, oh, you know what? That's it. I'm not taking any more of this. So from that day, I used to fear IT a lot. Okay, I've told you guys, don't fear IT so much because I see a lot of our people out there, we don't embrace IT. Okay, and there, there's a lot of opportunities in this sector. Okay, a lot of opportunities, especially once you get, you know, once you get in there, you can make a lot of money. I've worked with people making over $200,000 per year. I'm serious. Okay, I'm serious. So if you're good, you see, IT, it's either you're good or you're not. Okay, you can't bullshit at all. It's either you know or you don't know what you're doing. Okay, but if you know what you're doing, I'm telling you, nothing can stop you. You can go far. That's the good thing about IT. You can go anywhere you want because what really clients are looking for is people who have the brain, smart people who can solve those problems. Okay, that's why IT people, they get paid a lot of money because not many people out there are that smart and can resolve these kind of issues. Okay, and you can see like, you know, everywhere. It's all about technology, everywhere. So the demand will always be there. That's why if in the tech industry, you are even, even during this corona period, you are most likely going to be the most safest person out there. Okay, and you can work remotely. Most of IT people right now, they are working remotely. So that's the good thing of being in the tech industry. Okay, now, the other job or skill that does not require coding is business analyst. So today I said I'm going to talk about three skills. Okay, I've talked about quality assurance tester or analyst, QA tester or analyst. Okay, I've talked about systems analyst. Okay, and specifically systems functional analyst like me all right and now the other one is business analyst okay now who is a business analyst now see <clears throat> when companies are doing project uh, it project implementations they need people who understands business processes very very well okay Someone who will interact with those end users, we call them end users, the people who use systems on a day-to-day -day basis, okay, in a company, okay, people who enter transactions, let's say, for example, in a finance department, okay, we have those people who enter invoices on a day-to-day -day basis, okay, they enter those invoices, they run the reports, you know, they make payments and all that stuff, okay, they run financial reports at the end of the week, at the end of the month, those are usually end users. They know, the, they know the business processes really, really well. Okay. Now, when there is any implementation of an IT system in a department, okay, within an organization, that implementation will need someone who is able to gather the requirements from the business. Okay. The needs of the business. Someone will understand those needs of the business. Okay. And then now the same person give those you know, what, whatever they have um, gathered from the business, then provide that in a document to the, to the developers. Okay, those who are developing the software. Okay, they provide whatever feedback that they get, which are usually called the requirements, and then they provide those to the developers so that now the developers can develop the software, okay, during an implementation. As a business analyst, you'll be expecting to understand software lifecycle methodologies, okay? The framework that companies use to implement a project, okay? To develop a software, all right? And one of them is called Agile Methodology. We're going to talk about these things in my other episodes of Success with Bob Witt show, okay? But this scale, you don't really need to know any coding at all, at all, at all, and it pays well. You're watching Success with Bob Witty Show presented to you by AppStack America. AppStack America is a consulting company that helps immigrants find amazing higher education and job opportunities in the tech industry in the United States. You can find our programs by going to www.appstackamerica.com. AppStack America, we wake you up to the unlimited potential within you. 
Now, on to our question of the day, someone asked me, Hey Bob, you talk a lot about high income skills. Where can I get trained on such skills? All right. Now, what I can tell you is there's a lot of trainings out there on the internet, okay? And my company, we are one of those companies that offer these kind of high income skill sets, all right? So if you want, you can definitely go to our website and check out which scale you want to get into. Okay, you see also IT is very, very broad, okay? We have training programs on robotics, process automation, uh, business analyst. We have robotics, process automation developer. We have artificial intelligence and machine learning training. And we have Oracle EBS financials training. So depending with what you want, okay? But there's also there's a lot of other trainings out there, other technologies out there on the internet. It really depends with what you want. But for us, that's what we train on and you can go to our website and check out. All right? I'll see you next time. Goodbye. You've been watching Success with Bomweti Show brought to you by Upstack America. Come back next time to hear more steps and missteps that I took on the path to becoming a successful immigrant in USA. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn.